Have you ever trusted someone the most, but they turned out to be fake? Discovering someone you trusted was a fake can rattle you to your core. When you should be blaming them, instead you blame yourself. Scouring your brain for answers, desperately seeking to understand how you failed to see the truth. It can be helpful to have concrete examples in your toolbox to help better detect their lies. With that said, here are 6 things fake people always say. Backed by psychology. I've got your back. Sound familiar? Fake people are notorious for letting you know they have your back, only to stab it when you turn around. Ugh. Were you aware of their true colors only after hearing what they said about you from someone else? Maybe they started a horrible rumor about you behind your back. Psychologist Dr. Niha Mehta explains, these people believe that the only way they can come out looking like a better person is by putting someone else down, and the best way to do that is by spreading false rumors about them. I'm always honest. Fake people claim to be honest, but they have speeches tailored to specific audiences. Their opinion will change based on who they are talking to because, let's face it, they're not honest. Sadly, they're two-faced. Whereas trustworthy people take time to reflect on their opinion, sharing the same opinion to different people without needing others to agree with them, explains psychologist Guy Winch. You can trust me, until they no longer need you, that is. Fake people will try to gain your trust with this phrase, whereas genuine people will show you. According to clinical psychologist Dr. Niha Mehta, they are only with you when you are of use to them. The moment you stop being useful to them, or they cannot manipulate you, they will hang you out to dry. To help decipher the difference, an honest response could be, I know trust is earned. I'm sorry, but sincere people don't ever want to hurt you. A sincere apology might sound like, I'm so sorry I did that, I never want to do that again, and here's how I'm going to change. But with fake people, you'll only hear excuses. This excuse-making apology does nothing to heal the wounds caused, says Dr. Dan Newhoth. There's always someone else to blame but themselves. I'm just being real. They didn't mean to hurt your feelings. They just keeping it real. This is no excuse, my friend. And fake people often use this phrase to justify their cruel words, hiding behind the disguise of brutal honesty, when in reality, their real talk is a symbol of their lack of compassion. Therapist Dr. Stephanie Asri warns, sarcasm and cynicism are well known to act as a defense mechanism, sometimes even a diversion anything so they can remain feeling on top of the world, whether it is through boosting themselves or bringing people down. We should hang out sometime. Dr. Azri cautions that fake people may say yes to things for their own kind of satisfaction, only to leave you in the lurch for the hundredth time this year. Chances are they never intended to make actual plans to spend time with you. Or at the last minute, you get a fake emergency text that reads, can't make it, something really important came up. This is 100% their loss, because they would be lucky to have snagged the chance to spend time with you. It's impossible not to feel hurt and take their fraudulent actions personally, and it takes strength to admit that, and to feel the hurt that's easier ignored and pushed down. But it's not a reflection on you. Therapist Dr. Azri wants you to know that, sadly, they most likely have behaved this way before they knew you and will continue much longer after you've moved on. It isn't about you, it is about their inner need to meet a void that you are not responsible for. And in all honesty, unless you are a trained professional, you are unlikely to improve it. Have people used these phrases on you? Let us know below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more. Until next time, thanks for being here.